Okay, so before we get started in the actual mending of the soil and doing the transplants, uh, I wanted to uh, just show you that I did do some changes here in the garden here recently. So um, you can see my plant stands were modified. I, I switched out the legs that I had on there, which were two by three treated wood. I put four by four uh, posts on there and uh, did it for all of them. Uh, I got one over here I'll show you in a minute. But uh, so they're all basically the, the same height, except the last one. It is uh, an inch and a half, inch and a half shorter because the post that I bought was cut short to begin with. So I just divvied up the difference and left it at that. But uh, so and I also moved all my plant stands here to be together, except for the one over here for the strawberry patch. So. Um, this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to be taking the soil from these grow bags, which is left over from last summer and spring. And I'm going to amend it in the wheelbarrow. And then we're going to uh, fill it up, add some fertilizer, and get the plants put in there. All right, I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be using here. Um, I got your peat moss, a bag of composted cow manure, a little bit of peat or a little bit of potting mix over there. Um, first thing I'll do is put a couple of bags or a couple of grow bags of the dirt into the wheelbarrow and then I'll mix some of this into it just to amend it, bring it back to life. Uh, you got to understand though that the peat moss and the potting mix have no nutritional value. Uh, there may be a little bit of fertilizer in that potting mix but not uh, near enough to feed the plants the way we need to, especially here in the beginning. The, the black cow does provide uh, some nutritional value, but it's very, you know, it's, it's a small uh, concentration of 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 NPK. So that's all there is to it. You know, when you first start gardening, you newbies out there where you're just starting from scratch, yes, you have to put some money into it to invest in your beds or your pots or however you plan on doing your gardening whatever technique you got to get your soils you got to get all that stuff lined up and purchased but once you get going it's just a matter of amending what you had you should never be replacing your whole garden full of soil okay so let's get uh, a few bags over here and get started All right, so this soil, like I mentioned, is from last spring and summer left over. I usually, I just let it sit and uh, it's dry, of course, and, but it breaks down over the late summer, fall and winter, and it's still good. It's mainly a filler at this point. All the nutrients have been used. So that's the purpose of this amending the soil before you use it again. So I'm just going to put a, this in here. There's a little dirt in this uh, wheelbarrow from my last mix that I did. As you can see, this is not bad soil at all. And uh, looks pretty good. We're going to make it better. Now, if you dump this out and you got roots and stuff from the previous plants like I see here, um, don't worry about it. Just leave it in there. It'll break down. Break up the clumps, especially if it's been sitting dry. If you leave them outside and just let the rain hit it and... Uh, just let nature do its thing like, like it normally would. It works out pretty good. All right, so that's two, two bags. Let's put another one in there. And I don't have to add, there's already, you can see the perlite in here. I was pretty generous with the perlite when I set these up. So I don't have to add perlite to this at all. 
it'll have plenty of drainage. All right, so we got a good batch here. All right, so what I'm going to do is probably add about a third a bag, third of a bag of black cow composted cow manure. noticed that this stuff this year has a lot of sticks and stuff in it and that's unfortunate but uh, I would probably recommend sifting this I also noted uh, in my peat moss it had the same kind of thing going on and uh, I mean this is just a, a big rock in there so sometimes these bags are perfect. Some of them, you know, here's some sand. There's a, there is sand in this. But anyway, just take up the big chunks. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put this potting mix in here. Which is mainly peat moss. Now I'm going to just mix this up. And if you don't have one of these mini shovels, I highly recommend it if you're doing mixing in your wheelbarrows. Mix it up. And I won't bore you with me mixing. So let's skip ahead and get to the good stuff. That's pretty much it. So, again, don't throw your soil away. Just amend it and save yourself a ton of money. Now these will settle down. Soil will settle a little bit. You may have to top it off, but you want to leave enough room to, to mulch. I usually am using uh, shredded leaves for my mulch. Uh, I get them in the fall. I have a shredder and uh, works out pretty good. So that's one.
All right, so there's three, three bags done. Again, I got enough in the barrel there, probably for one more. But what I'm going to do is put some more dirt in there from the uh, pots and go through the same process. And I'll keep doing that until I have all of these pots filled with dirt. Uh, now you notice I didn't add any fertilizer to the wheelbarrow. I wait till I get them in the pot and then I'll add fertilizer specifically for whatever I'm growing, um, which could be different. So it's a lot, of, it's real easy to mix all the way down on these seven gallon. I uh, just get a trial and I put what I want in there and then I just turn it and it's ready to go. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. The plants are going to take what they need. They just need to be able to get what they need out of the soil. So I'm going to finish doing all these other bags, which is quite a few. And uh, I'm not sure how many I'm going to use this spring. Uh, last spring I had 65. But I, th I don't think I'm going to have that many this year. Probably, I don't know, maybe 50. But uh, I still got a lot to do. So I'll catch you on the flip side. Okay guys, uh, it took a little longer, I had to do some things, but uh, I ended up filling all the pots up as I had shown how I was doing it. I mixed them into the wheelbarrow, I added amendments as necessary as I emptied each pot in there and uh, got a good soil in here. Uh, I think I got uh, 28 pots right here. Uh, I then came back and I put a granular fertilizer, some bone meal and some blood meal in each one. Uh, about a half a cup of granular fertilizer and about a handful of bone meal and blood meal. Went through and then using a trial I just mixed it in the top about half of the grow bag. Uh, one other thing I'm doing is uh, this saucer here um, is going to be under each one of these. So I got a, a bunch of these in the garage and this is great because I've learned over the years that this is a grow bag. It is porous. It's a fabric. The water is going to leak out the sides when you water. Okay. Um, as this settles and compacts a little bit, after you put mulch on there, and this top uh, soil will get a little crusty. When you top water, it's going to go to the sides and run down the sides, and you have the uh, possibility of not getting the water into the middle of the plant which is where you want it so the roots can get to it so after several ideas contemplating several ideas I came up and found these saucers these are 18 inch saucers seven gallon grow bags um, when the water starts going down the sides it will collect in the bottom and then it will wick up from the bottom just like you do your seedlings and it will catch it and that way you're not wasting water you're not wasting uh, leached out um, nutrients and if you're using a water soluble uh, fertilizer in, when you're watering you're not wasting that either it will go to the bottom collect and then wick up so it won't be lost now you don't want you don't want water to sit in these for days and days, especially during the summer. You don't want mosquitoes to catch on, get in there and start breeding. So you got to keep an eye on that. But uh, so a little change of plans with the planting of the, the uh, seedlings over here. Forecast shows we're going to have up to 30 mile an hour winds on Wednesday, late Tuesday into Wednesday. So I don't want to risk my little uh, starts getting beat around with the wind and uh, so I'm going to hold off on that until that clears out then I'm going to come back and finish this I still have some more pots to fill and I'll do those as I need them I'm going to have some squash zucchini um, green beans I'm going to have a trellis down here as well for them to grow on so we'll get to all that in another video while I'm out here I'm going to show you my strawberry patch over here that I did two weeks ago Okay, this is my finished strawberry patch. Uh, I did a video on this and I'll put a link to that. Um, it's the first metal bed I've purchased and put together. So far, I've liked it. I wanted something 
that was permanent wouldn't uh, rot or rust this is uh, a zinc alloy that won't rust it's coated and then painted with food grade paint and uh, anyway if you want to watch the video I won't go into the details of how I filled this up but go watch that video and you'll see but I did go and get this easy straw which I was hard to find I had to get it off Amazon I couldn't find it locally but uh, so now all the plants are in they're doing happy we got lots of flowers got some little bitty strawberries uh, coming in so um, the only thing I have to watch about is this is facing northwest so we'll be getting some a lot of sun over here I may have to get a shade cloth but uh, let me pull the camera in so you can see a close-up of some of these strawberry plants so there's one there laying on the straw and you want to put straw down so your strawberries aren't laying on the dirt and uh, going will rot the other part of this is you're gonna to have to watch um, for birds because once they find that there's strawberries over here they could be swooping in and taking your bounty move it over here and get you another view lots of flowers um, they've adapted well these were starts from Lowe's I just picked up and you know I can't remember the variety that I've got here but uh, we'll see how they do I'll have to look it up uh, but anyway uh, Wednesday night or Thursday I will uh, be doing the transplants and I'll bring you along and we'll go from there talk to you then